In this review we'll have a quick look back at 2017 and we'll announce the winners of the annual Cranes Etc Awards. As usual the model year really begins with the Nuremberg Toy Fair and it's a place where you can see strange and wonderful things and meet all sorts of interesting characters. Of course there's a lot of interest in one of the models that you have here that you're showing for the first time so would you like to tell us about it? I will show you what we're going to do. This is the model we have new available. This year at the Toy Fair five axle cranes were in fashion with models of Tadano, Liebherr and Tarex machines. Once again a notable absentee from the Toy Fair was Conrad Models. And Christine is the uh, boss of Conrad Models. Hello Christine. Hello. Um, Christine this is the second year you haven't been at the Toy Fair. Is there any truth in the rumour that the only reason you're not at the Toy Fair is because you like to avoid me? Yes. Oh. Among the new Conrad models was this Kleeman screener, which actually appeared before the real version. Of course, the majority of die-cast models in the construction sector are produced to support the marketing effort of the real machines. And in 2017, the major industry exhibition was Conexpo in Las Vegas. Conexpo is held every three years, and whilst it's not as big as the Balmer exhibition, it is still very impressive with a great location. Perhaps the most impressive effort for new models was on the Manitowoc stand, and maybe that's not a surprise as Conexpo is on home turf. One surprise was that Conrad had three different rough terrain cranes on display, and one of them was this Grove model. As with all big exhibitions, they can be very tiring. So I'm here at the Manitowoc stand with Milo Weiss, and Milo... So we're on the Manitowoc stand, and I'm here with... You might have to do it again, I was making a face. And look at this one, it comes with a driver included. After the main shows and for the rest of the year the new model announcements were quite flat. But it was nice to make up for that in part with a visit to Notaboom Trailers in Holland. It was an open day event and it was very impressive to see some of the real trucks and trailers. During the course of the year, Cranes Etc produced about 90 reviews, but sometimes not everything goes smoothly. At this point I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who supports Cranes Etc and particularly our Patreon supporters. So let's move on to our first Cranes Etc award and that's Innovation of the Year. And although there was nothing really stand out in terms of the models themselves, one very nice introduction was the Drake Collectibles app. This app is great for collectors because it's a full online catalogue of all of Drake Collectibles models. And it includes details of the model, and there's also other information such as how many are made for those that are in collectible colours. Not only that, but if a model is in stock, you can also buy it. In fact, perhaps the only thing this app actually lacks is a link to Cranes Etc. Overall, this app does offer something new, so it wins the Cranes Etc Award for Innovation in 2017. The next award is for the Company of the Year and it's sponsored by one of our Patreon supporters, Brandon Staszynski. NZG had a quiet year and Conrad had a few releases. And as usual, WSI and IMC pumped out the truck models. But this year's award goes to a small company that engineered two large crawler crane models for Manitowoc. They also helped out with sword models F250s and they produced some big loads such as this one for Mammut. The 2017 award for Company of the Year goes to Vice Brothers. Now we come to our last award, the Model of the Year. This award is also sponsored by a Patreon supporter, but they are remaining anonymous. The criteria for Model of the Year is that it's one reviewed by Cranes Etc, and it can't be a different coloured version of one previously reviewed. 
It also means that one of the standout models, this radio controlled version of the Liebherr Tower Crane, is also excluded because the static model was previously reviewed. But no question, this is one of the best models ever seen by Cranes Etc. In terms of new releases, Housley's Manitowoc MLC650 was certainly an excellent model. But the award for 2017 goes to YCC's Liebherr LTM 1800 mobile crane in the colours of Schmidbauer. This is a beautifully presented model that celebrates the introduction of the real crane, and it has a number of toolings and modifications to make it as authentic as possible to the real crane. So overall, it's a worthy winner of the 2017 award. So that concludes this quick review of 2017. And if you want to see what happens in 2018, there's always your old friend, Cranes Etc.